believe it or not, was Paul Larrington's man. I'm a very, very happy person right now. So I've got a fairly standard Monday schedule today. I've got all of my normal teaching schedule and I've also got some projects that I'm chipping away at. I often find that Monday for me is about finding my feet and working out where I'm going to go with the next week, which is obviously quite strange because I'm a freelancer, so I tend to work pretty much every day anyway. So Monday doesn't actually have a lot of significance. It is worth saying that no two days are the same here, so really Monday has never actually felt like a Monday to me. I don't know if you can hear that knocking, but we're having more work done on the front of the house today. Thankfully, I'm not recording anything acoustically, otherwise that would end up being quite percussive. So I'm just about to try another live stream. I figured I've got to get some practice in. So my plan is actually to make some veg soup on camera and talk about the single. So let's see how this goes. Okay, that went pretty well actually. Quite pleased with that. I obviously used the opportunity to thank people for watching and listening to the new song. And I want to say that to you guys as well. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't listened to it yet, I'll put a link up here or up here for you to listen to it. So one of the things I'm working on today is actually something festive. You might be able to see the uh, fairy lights twinkling behind me. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but just to give you an idea, this is pretty late to be starting Christmas content for a musician. There is a Christmas song that I wrote in 2015 that I actually started in September. But yeah, I'm planning quite a lot of festive content and this is the first thing that I'm working on and I'm genuinely trying to get this done ahead of time. So it does actually seem ridiculous to have those fairy lights going on. But you know what? Fairy lights are an essential part of the Christmas aesthetic. So there you go. Now I'm really excited because this has just arrived in the post. Let's open it up. Why do I have the worst scissors in the world? Come on. The tape has a smell, doesn't it? It's not just me. Aha! This is the autofocusing version of my existing lens. Oh, look at it. It's a Sigma 17 to 50 high speed motor optical stabilization lens. I'm just trying to get all the features in there. When I've been making videos with the other lens that doesn't autofocus, I thought at first that I could sit there and twist it myself, but I can never get myself in focus. So I'm going to put this on the DSLR and see how it works. There, I can see it working. That's great. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. And it knows it's me. How great is that? This is 100% going to be my new vlogging lens. So I've got to a reasonable point with my festive content. I've managed to record bass and acoustic guitar on it today, which is quite good. Festive lights still flickering in the background there, which is nice. I'm just about to go out and do some work, and this is the first time that I've been to this particular place since the clocks have gone back. So it's like half past four, and it's basically dark outside. It does take a little bit of time to get used to this whole winter schedule thing. Right, it's time to make some dinner. On the menu tonight is some salt and pepper ribs that I made earlier. Just going to put them in the oven. More and more I'm finding that I'm preparing my food beforehand when I go out now. It means obviously when I get in I can just put something in the oven or just eat straight away. I'm streamlining my life, which is something that when I was 19 I never thought I'd do. It is really misty out there tonight. It's not just the smoke from bonfires and things like that. It's quite an interesting evening weather-wise. I must admit I'm a little bit disappointed that I haven't made it to a bonfire this year, but it's like nine o'clock now. I haven't eaten. Everything will be wrapping up. This is definitely one of the pitfalls of working in music because everything happens in the evening or at night. But obviously last year it fell on a Sunday or a Saturday. I definitely didn't miss it last year. We had some fireworks in the garden last week and I've seen some bonfires out and about. But to be honest with you, I think I'm going to settle in for the evening, get a cup of tea on the way, and that'll be it for today. I've got a real craving to watch The Greatest Showman, actually. I've just been listening to the Brendan Urie, or Panic at the Disco, whichever way you want to put it, version of The Greatest Show, and it's amazing. And it's made me want to watch the film again, so maybe I'll do that. But yes, I will bid you a good night.